if you paste the F. You know how oh. look at my questions? I'm sorry. Oh. I, I don't have input because I'm not a porn master. Oh god. <laughs> like shaved or hairy? If you're not shaved, Papa give you no kiss. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another video. If you are new to my channel and my face is completely new to you, Bronson's armpits are itchy, we are to a great start. My name is Lauren and welcome to my channel and this is my fiance. Today we are doing quite a saucy juicy video. I thought it would be a cool idea to ask Bronson because we've been in a long relationship and these questions come up every now and then and I never know what he would think. So, and so many girls are afraid to ask these questions. So today I'm asking Bronson questions that girls are afraid to ask or want to know from guys. And he's going to give a general feedback. Okay, so I don't know what these questions are. Um, my intention is not to offend anyone. This is going to be me answering it based off my personal preferences or opinions. Um, and I'll try and keep it as honest and... I posted this also on my stories. So I got a couple of questions from other girls that they also wanted to find out about what they think from guys. So without any further ado, we're just going to get straight into this video. I have my questions on my notepad. Okay. Let's go. Does a period freak guys out and do you think it's nasty? A what? Like having the, the girl, cycle. Yeah, a menstrual cycle. Does it freak a guy <laughs> out and do they think that it's nasty when a girl's on their period? Um, I don't think it's nasty. I think it's natural. Um, I'd be more concerned if you never had your period. <laughs> that would be a problem. No, I think it's a completely natural thing. All girls need to have it. Um, and obviously it's important and also it's important to be supportive when your partner is on their period Don't be obnoxious and put your needs first guys. Obviously, it's a sensitive time for a lady So cuddle sweets lots of chocolate love All Look after your lady when she's on a cycle Off to a good start High five. Okay, why are guys obsessed about a woman's choice of grooming? Like shaved or hairy? Why is it such a thing that a girl is either... Like it's such a deal breaker if a girl is one or the other. H hairy shaven where? Everywhere. Armpits. The Gigi. Do the Gigi's grow hair? Well, you're just lucky that you would <laughs> never need to find out. But is it like shaven or hairy? And why is it a thing? I don't think it's a thing. I think if you're a male 21st century, I don't think hair, hair anywhere below here should exist. All your growth of your hair should be focused on your head. Okay, so shaved or hairy? Definitely shaved. Uh, I don't know hair actually is supposed to grow in other places besides the future. Some guys yeah. might like it if that's your thing and you like to like have maybe, comb, maybe comb like, hair and stuff. I mean that's your thing. Maybe if you're like above 50, it's okay. Yeah, no, it's not my thing. Okay, do you guys think that if a girl doesn't groom herself, so if she doesn't wax and shave and like look after her grooming, do they perceive her as a messier person? I haven't been in that situation, I have no preference. Maybe you, if there's any guys watching and know, so I like, can't say. To me, okay, this is my perspective. Girls, if you do like hair, that is your, but for me, I also prefer to be hairless because also it's just like a hygiene thing for me that, like that's what i'm trying to say is it like do you think a girl is less hygienic if she does grow out her armpit hairs her hairs everywhere do you think it becomes unhygienic i know okay armpit hair i've very seldom seen a lady with armpit hair like it um, like it sweats like that stuff boom but i think if you are going to have hair in specific areas so long as you are hygienic about it i don't think it's a problem it's your preference so you don't think it goes your... more messy if she's got hair if she's got hair, hair it's not a problem as long as she looks after everything that's under the hair 
if that makes sense. Okay, that makes sense. Why do all guys like long hair on a girl? Because I know in our relationship, if I say I'm gonna cut my hair, you freak out. Like, why is it so important that a girl has long hair? Because some girls aren't fortunate to grow long hair and they like short hair and it suits some girls. So why is it so important to a guy that a girl has long hair on her head? Why is it important for a guy to have killer abs and muscles? It's not important, but it just looks sexy. Well, there we go, long hair sexy. Is that your if, opinion? In my, in my personal opinion, if a girl can look after her hair, especially it shows that a girl looks after herself, long hair, if you have long, healthy, luscious hair, and you do it nicely, you tie it, it, it just shows that you as a person spend time on yourself. So I know that if your hair is done nice, your makeup's done nice, your fingers will look nice, you, you, you look after yourself. I mean, if, if a girl just takes the easy way out, and you know, just she cuts her she has in the morning, she just wake up and gets three brushes and she goes for the day. But chances that is such artists, a bad generalization because... Artists, okay, but some woman, in saying that... Your some, sister looks hot ass with okay, short hair. Specific women look good with short hair, but short hair, you have a very chiseled face to pull the look off. If you have a Guys, round this face... This is just his opinion, please. If you have a round face, if usually, if you have a round face, you cut your hair short. Me personally, if I grow my hair out, when my hair grows long and grows here, I've got a round face. So if I have hair here, I look completely round in the face, and then I look like a pudding face okay so his answer to the question is basically what was the question <laughs> that it it's about long hair I so like girls with long hair so really? about hair questions hey yeah hey yeah hey yeah come go for something else because it's such an important thing to me hey hey oh, okay go on why are guys obsessed with porn porn yes guys are obsessed with porn why what kind of a question is that? <laughs> so guys will be guys, I suppose. A lot of chat groups. That's not okay. Guys. Why are girls obsessed with makeup? I don't know. Because it makes us look pretty. What does porn do? No, I think it's... I don't know if it's an obsession. I think guys are just by nature more... Jealous. Possibly a good oh. word to use. I don't know. I'm so sorry. Guys have a lot of... Testosterone? I don't know. The guys on these groups and they send pictures of women and all sorts of things. I mean, girls, come on. Have you ever gone through your man's phone? I don't anymore because I'm just like, really? Because it's just boobs and okay, well, hold a whole up. bunch Full of stuff. Full disclosure, yeah. These he gets boobs sent don't them. Know. No, no, no. He doesn't download them, Shane. To be, to be wow. fair, they get, get sent here. on groups. To, get be, out here. to be fair, it's all on group chats. Like, that's why th this is where this question comes from. Like, why are men obsessed with porn? Can I be honest? I think on and most of the groups that I'm on and when these things pop up, it's usually on groups where there's older males and I suppose their partners aren't up to standard. I'm fortunate enough to have a beautiful partner. So I don't need to source on the internet to look for a perfect ideal woman to look at. I can get more than enough excitement out of my partner. But if you, you, and you think that maybe looking at another chick gets you excited so that you can actually do something with your chick, well, it is what it is, and it's your thing. Do you think, can okay, I listen, listen properly? Okay, let's do this. Do you think that watching porn and seeing the perfect girl, which is like in pornos, impacts the way you view a girl? Um, like you, you, you expect higher expectations out of them because when you see a porno, you see everything that's like perfect. So like, then when you see an actual girl, you see her stretch marks, you see her cellulite, and you don't see fake boobs, liposuction, and like this perfect doll. <laughs> don't you think it it raises your expectations of a female watching so much porn? And how does it okay, impact how you choose hold a woman? Up. You keep asking these porn questions like I sit and watch porn all day. Um, no, this is questions for have... guys that girls are too afraid to ask. I, I don't have input because I'm not a porn master. <laughs> <laughs> but what I can say is that if, if you're watching pornographic content, it is obviously a staged thing and it's models. Likewise with watching TV and celebrities on TV. So a porn star is a porn athlete and I suppose her women parts are athletically trained. So I think if guys are watching porn and have this false sense of my well, partner can do this and But also all those specifically things, look a certain way, not do, I but don't look think, a certain way. I don't way. think for males 
that it's so much about the looks when it comes to the porn stars. I think it's about the actions. Okay. Because well, girls, this this is actually insightful because this is actually a good answer for me. I just yeah, I think at the end of the day, the guy just wants to get there, and um, so long as so long as they realize that there's a big difference between the woman being able to put a calf behind her head and all of those things, and you don't expect your woman to do that, and you guys keep it what you guys can do, then that's your thing. Okay, but I think that's a good you, one. I think if you expect your partner, if you watch some sort of pornographic content and you think your partner should be able to do these things and you don't brief them or say, hey, you know what, I'm just going to try and do this and you might find yourself in some serious trouble. Don't do that. Guys, don't do that. Okay, that's actually a good answer. Um, do you think it's okay to get comfortable in a relationship? Like start letting yourself go? Okay, uh, I think in a lot of relationships in the first few months you notice that happen unintentionally because a very big part of relationship is getting comfortable with your partner. If you're not comfortable with your partner then it's going to be difficult. I think every relationship is different, people are different, people grow together differently. If you get into a relationship with a partner and you and your partner both settle down and you both start picking up some weight and the different stages of life, we might young, medium and old. Mm -hmm. If you get starting to look towards getting engaged and you guys both are prioritizing business or families, maybe wife's having a baby or something like that. You know what, if you guys aren't worried about your bodies and you're more focused about just your futures and your life and your families, and you let it go and you both let it go and you both complacent with it, that's fine. But if you're in a relationship where one party's really focused on their physique and their health yeah. and their fitness, then I don't think it would work out if the, the other party was just like, well, I'm gonna eat a McDonald's burger, enjoy each other, I'm just gonna chill on the couch, watch some porn. Sorry, just going back to all these big porn questions, but go on. Do you guys care if girls fart? <laughs> Depends on the point of the relationship. The first time Lauren farted, she didn't know she farted because we were cuddling sleep. Um, so the first time she let it slip, she never even realized she let it slip. So she still thinks the first time we farted was me because I farted in front of her, but I wasn't clear because I knew she farted while like we were sleeping together. Uh, she had a ripper, like a proper like ripper. No, don't lie. Like, you lie. No, the first one's the worst, and then they're after you, like, you know what? Well, I'm also human, also fart, and, and now it's like a competition. Now it's used loud in the morning. Like, oh, morning, mate. <sighs> yeah, it's kind of the vibe. You get kind of fought by another. But hey, first year, don't be farting on your partner and stuff. Yeah. What specific features on a girl can be a deal breaker for a guy? You. Okay, this is very personal. personal and preference to person. Some guys like this that me feet. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I know you hate feet, but I have like I have knickknack toes. So how did I get? To, how did I make the cut? Because usually I don't have to have your knickknacks in my face. Okay. <gasps> but I, have I don't like feet, feet. guys. Feet, feet are issue here. Fish feet are issue. So it's a deal breaker for you. For me, other guys might be bums, boobs. I can have a girl, no bums, no boobs. She got funny feet. Like that's just that's just next level. Is I don't know. Like no. But then how are my feet? Your feet are oh, acceptable. Okay. They're, they're perfectly acceptable. They're all pretty much in proportion. You usually have them clean and cut. Not today. And another thing, girls with nails, fingernails, beautiful. I love fingernails, that's beautiful. But if you've got long nails, they must be done, like as in painted or French tips or whatever. Don't have as long, thin, natural nails. As you can see, he likes, no, okay, guys, before we carry on. As you can see, Bronson has a very specific way he likes his woman to be. No, 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 no. no. I think so. Guys, comment down below if Bronson is specific or if this is like I have the a normal. Finger and foot, fingernail and toenail phobia. I don't. Do you think girls end up becoming like their mothers? Oh. So like, do you look at their, like when you look for a girl, do oh. you look at the mother and think, oh my word, like my girlfriend's probably going to potentially look like or be like her mom in the future? Like, is it something you need to consider when going into a relationship? Oh God. <laughs> <You're awesome. laughs> I don't know how to answer Wait. this, guys. Um, yeah, no, I don't know. It, no, like really, like I don't, I don't personally like. No, in the beginning, where you like, because I know people like, yeah, their daughters end up like their mothers. So in the beginning, when you 
see a girl or when you want to start dating a girl or considering a girl do you look at her and then look at her mother and think okay she's gonna age well or who that woman's psychotic because her daughter's psychotic i suppose genes are genes and things are hereditary and stuff but i mean if you look at one's mother and you base your opinion off of that then you might have made a wrong assumption because obviously there's genes from both parents um, so you might actually look at the mother and think the daughter's going to be like the mother but it might end up like the father not saying like she's going to grow biceps that would mean like personality wise and mannerism wise um, you didn't answer my question do they consider he's answering all these questions not directly i need a direct answer from you do you think they consider i don't personally but i'm sure a lot of people do look at the parents and go Wow, these people are bad role models. Their doors probably going to turn out terrible. I'm out. Okay, thank you. A simple answer is all I needed. And then the last question Why don't guys ever cry and show their emotion? So it's like, like all the time. Like on a weekly basis. Yeah. I think it cries good. Good, good cries good. I think some guys have a misperception that not crying is masculine. Boo! not true dude it's not true the fact that you think you're masculine but not showing emotion just means that you have an inferiority complex which means that you most likely cry when no one's around if you're feeling something let it out let it out share it with your partner I'm, I'm joking i don't cry once a week maybe not once a week yeah it's not that bad <laughs> i think you did pretty good uh, the questions weren't that bad they, they really weren't Okay guys, well comment down below if you have any more questions that I should be asking my man or if you think his advice or his answers <laughs> were good or were they far from the truth, let us know. But also these, these, these are not the answer for everyone's questions and this is not how everyone thinks or feels. This is just me and Lauren chatting. And answering so questions, questions that you guys. we got asked by you guys and the way we perceive it and answer it. This yeah. is not the answer. So yeah, this is not the answer. Please, this is not the be all or end all. And if you don't shave, it, it's your preference at the end of the day. This is just our general conversation, if you will. All right. Well, that's all for today's video. Thank you guys for joining in. If you have more questions and we should do a part two, let us know down below. But otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you. We will see you in our next video. Bye. If you know shave, Papa give you no peace. <laughs> <laughs> Signing out, guys. Bye. Love you all.